degrees in the water in the morning. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Throw on the wetsuit. Let's get in. <laughs> all right, let's talk about air to find out what's going on. I know we're all looking at that going, look at that sunshine, but we had a little bit today too. Oh, we did, and we were warmer than average. So Lisa and I are going to break it out. It looks like Lisa has your Valentine's Day forecast. We'll get to that in just a bit. But this is as we woke up this morning. So I just wanted to show you the day as we went through. You could see the sky conditions change. We had the clouds that were thicker at times. And then look at this, 524, the sun goes down. And then I had to stop it again with all these great colors. And now we're just kind of going through the evening hours. Just really pretty. So we're going to get some beautiful evenings of some sunsets as we go through the next several nights. Again, tonight set at 524, 6 p.m. as we get into early March, which is March 5th. That's when we'll hit 6 p.m. Kind of nice to think about once we get to March 13th, it will be a 7 p.m. sunset. And then an 8 p.m. sunset is April 16th. So we got a ways to go, but it's something to look forward to for sure. 51 degrees with winds out of the northwest at six miles an hour. And we've turned on the lights and the twinkle in the downtown as we've said goodnight to our Wednesday. And it was a really nice day, a little cooler to the north sound as we were, and then warmer to the south sound from Seattle, about 54 degrees tracking down to Kelso. Hit 60 today. The lower Columbia Basin temperatures were in the mid to upper 50s to near 60 degrees as well. One of the cooler spots, OMAC. Hello to you at 31 degrees with Chelan and Manson hanging in there in the cool zone as well. High pressure is in the charge of our forecast, and that's really steering the jet stream and keeping all the weather above us to the west and to the north and keeping us with just a little bit of cloud cover as we get going in there. So as we dive into our satellite radar, no radar lit up as well because we've got our high pressure out there steering it clear, but you can see that we've had some clouds nudging up against the coast, getting some clearing over parts of the Cascades and further east you go and clearer skies for OMAC, keeping those temperatures down. So as we move into the overnight hours, 11 o'clock tonight, you can see less clouds Tacoma southward, but out on the coast and up to the north sound, we'll see those start to fill in into the overnight hours into early morning tomorrow. And again, some low line fog out there as we move through. So tomorrow that fog will settle in for the morning commute. It will lift pretty quickly though. Temperatures slightly above average 42 degrees. Normal sits about 38 into the overnight low. So most of us doing the same warm for Hoquiam out on the coast as we go through there. And then over the next three days, kind of exciting because we're going to see some more sunshine. If you're thinking about getting out, taking a run, a walk with the dog, whatever you need to do, it's going to be nice. We'll see a little less fog as we get into our Saturday, though, and skies will really start to open up, but temperatures will be cool Friday night into early Saturday morning without that click blanket of cloud cover. Okay, let's send it over to Lisa Viegas, and she'll give us the latest on the forecast coming up beyond that and your Valentine's Day. Yeah, Erin, I want to start right there because I think a lot of us are forgetting that it is on Monday, so let's just jump right to it for your Valentine's Day forecast. Looks like it is going to be a little cooler compared to what Erin was talking out in the near future. We have high pressures dominating our forecast, 48 degrees. We are going to wake up to some morning showers, which will begin by the end of the week. And we're talking late Sunday, so this weekend should be fairly dry. So let's start off with that. Fast forwarding Sunday night, cloud cover starts to roll in, but overall quiet for most of us, starting to knock on our door, especially when it comes to parts of the coast. That frontal system is going to push through, triggering a lot of those showers overnight, like I said, especially Sunday evening. When we're waking up Monday morning for those heading to work. It is going to be a little dreary. You're going to encounter some of those heavier downpours at times, but overall, when it comes to rain accumulation, we're talking about max about a tenth of an inch isolated areas up to about a quarter of an inch, but overall, that's about it. We'll also see a little bit of that snow finally picking back up in our forecast, but limited when it comes to accumulation. 12 o'clock still hanging around, but a little more spotty and then isolated, and then we completely clear out Monday evening for Valentine's Day dinner plans. You're looking pretty good, especially Especially right around 7, 8 o'clock, temperatures falling in the mid 40s. Now, when it comes to that snow, like I said, accumulation, this particular model not showing a whole lot of action when it comes to that new system rolling through happening late Sunday into Monday, maybe an inch or two. But this is why also that snow level is going to eventually drop, but not until Monday morning. So most of that action is going to take place overnight. And currently, when it comes to our snowpack, it's not looking that great. We're seeing a lot of those yellows and the oranges, so that means eh, we could do better, even in the green looking just OK when it comes to just what we've seen already for this season. I'd love to see more of that accumulation, but right now it looks minimum, especially for the week. So as we take a look at the seven day forecast, I'm going to give you some time to absorb this tonight. 42 degrees tomorrow, 50. We'll see some of that fog and then our new system arrives by the end of the weekend.